On a crest of success, Babbage went home to Ohio and brought the charges with him. It was time to ponder half a season. Time to see if this team was cut out for contention. Time to put everything on the line against the Cleveland Browns. Savage was home, and his teammates were right with him. When the frustrated Browns found their way close, the charges demonstrated an art they perfected during 1970, ball hawking. San Diego had developed a system. When hawking a ball, the carriers first pent up, then pummeled, and then picked clean. Chuck Detweiler claimed the score for the ball hawkers. And on the sideline, Lance Allworth made sure that everything was in place for his appearance. For half a season, Gary Garrison had been the attack's main constant. Now exploding through the Browns were the lightning legs of a man who had undergone knee surgery just six weeks earlier. Dickie Post's contribution was hard to miss, but another brilliant performance was less evident. An offensive line of all-pro Walt Sweeney, Sam Grunison, Bill Lincitis, and Terry Owens had unified. Theirs was the most basic battle on the field. Theirs was the most basic victory. Filling out this line was number 70, huge Russ Washington. Washington rooted, number 26, Brad Hubbard rumbled, and behind the line, the charges ground up the tough yardage, including the toughest of all, the last one. In the warm blush of a 27 to 10 victory, the ominous threat of almost was fading. Ohio was homecoming for Bob Babbage turning point for the Chargers and showcase for a man who would lead them into the second half of the season.